The first issue of The Assemblage, a superhero science fiction story. Available June 13th on Kickstarter. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Very excited today. We are talking about the hot news Kickstarter project from Chris McLeish um, about a superhero comic book called The Assemblage. Um, the preview looks amazing. The art is gorgeous. I'm very excited. I'm always happy to help uh, promote like smaller, uh, more independent type comic book projects. Um, and this is a very worthy one. I have the uh, um, the creator of the project with me here to talk about it and tell us about it, why you should get this book and um, how cool it is. So I'm very happy today to have Chris McLeish here. Welcome, Chris. How are you doing? Hello, Michael. Thank you for your time. I enjoy your channel and it's a pleasure to be here with you. So in brief, The Assemblage is a superhero team book and the project will launch Tuesday, June 13th. And um, we're looking forward, the team and myself, we're looking forward to uh, sharing more details about the characters and the project. Yeah, uh, so hopefully, I think that this, uh, the Kickstarter should be live during the time of this uh, interview. So hopefully I, I, that makes perfect sense because people would wanna you know, run out and get this. Um, so oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, Michael, the pre-launch page is up, but the launch, the official launch is June 13th. Okay. So depending on when this video goes up, uh, just make sure that you, I'll have a link for the Kickstarter and the interview, and then you can follow it to that. Um, so the, so what was the, like, uh, the inspiration for wanting to do this project and how did you put it all together? Uh, to begin, there are three main categories of influence on the assemblage comic book. 
Firstly, mythologies of the world. Secondly, comic books, cartoons, and science fiction from the 80s and 90s. Thirdly, history, philosophy, and paleontology. Those are the basic uh, influences that I brought together or that we, the team brought together to uh, create this comic book. Is this your first comic book project? Um, are you a big fan of comic books? Have you always wanted to make a comic book? Uh, I've been reading comic books for over 32 years, and this is my first project, yes. So it is. it looks amazing. Like, the art looks very good. Like, the quality is really good. Um, you know, doing my reviews, uh, as you mentioned, I'm always looking at all the moving parts, and, um, like, from writing to penciling to coloring to lettering, like, you did a really good job. Like it's, it looks very well polished. Um, how did you go about putting together your creative team? Um, we've been working on this project for over two years and I give the credit to an excellent team. So Carlos Beccaria is the interior artist and colorist. He's doing a wonderful job. The lettering is by Ant World Design. Uh, they're excellent. Um, the cover artist is Jeff Spokes and the editor, the assistant editor is Ebony Wellington. So they've enabled me to, uh, make this at the level that you've seen it at. Um, one of the things that I really loved about the preview was that, um, when it introduces some of the characters, some that, uh, may have like, uh, names that are not obvious how to pronounce, uh, it, there's sort of like a, a little like a parentheses on how to pronounce their name. And I just love that little touch because I thought, well, how interesting and different would like uh, the comic book world be if like Stanley had told us from day one, whether it was Magneto or Magneto, you know what I mean? Um, I thought that that was like a fun sort of user friendly way to engage your readers and, you know, show them that you care about them understanding what's happening in the story. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking the same thing, like uh, when we're younger and we're reading comic books by ourselves before the days of social media. And we did we weren't sure how to pronounce the characters names or the objects names. So um, just based on that experience from when I was younger, I said, OK, let me try and apply that lesson. So what, what, what is the basic concept? Like what, what, if you could do your like quick 30 second Hollywood pitch, what, how would you tell people what this book is about? So the assemblage comic book is about a team of superheroes who visit earth to investigate unusual signs of interstellar travel that exceed 21st century human technology on earth they confront a cosmic entity and his human agent who are exacerbating chaos and hostility. The mission of the assemblage is to protect all forms of life. So that would be my brief description. Um, it, uh, you know, obviously it's a world that you created. It's not, you know, our world. And um, I always really appreciate a book like that because I, I always think it's so ambitious to, you know, it's one thing to sort of just uh, be able to have an existing um, sort of, uh, you know, world to play in, but it's another thing to create it from the ground up. Um, how long, like, I can't imagine, like, the type of work or planning that went into it. How long has this project been germinating? Um, the team and I, we've been working for over two years. Um, the work I did prior to bringing the team together, that was another, call it another year to 14 months. So in total, um, over three years. Wow. So um, definitely a labor of love. Uh, uh, you must be excited that it's finally coming to fruition. Uh, what is the plan? Is this uh, like a one-shot kind of graphic novel? Do you want to continue? Is it a series? Uh, the goal is for it to be a series. And this first issue is the first part of a two-part story arc. But the goal is uh, 
a long-term um, series, yes. And how many uh, pages will the first issue be? So the first book, it will be 52 pages in total. 41 of those pages will be stories. Um, I, 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 the art is amazing. Like it, it is very like beautiful. And, um, and there's like a, a sort of like a, a cyborg or a robot gorilla, which was very smart because obviously he's going to be like the star of the book. I think that uh, <laughs> people, people will be very excited to see that. Um, I, I, I love the aesthetic. The colors are very bright and fun. You know, it, it looks like it reads like a good modern superhero comic book. Um, I, I think that people who love comic books and grew up with comic books like us will really appreciate like your enthusiasm for the genre and like all the little details and attention to do, uh, you know, to story and just the nuances and the, the love that you put into it. Like I, you, it is clear that you definitely put the work into this, you know, I mean, it, yeah. Uh, the will include some preview art and stuff like that in the video. And I do have other like preview videos coming up to show people how great this is. But uh, I have to say like, you know, I, I've, uh, you know, been privy to or participated in or just supported a lot of like comic book Kickstarters. And I think that, you know, they run the gamut from, you know, being very rudimentary to being very well produced. And I, I think that you definitely pulled out the stops for this. And I think people will really appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Michael. Uh, I appreciate the, the feedback. The team, the team just did a wonderful, excellent job. Um, even though I'm a part of the work process, when I see what they produce, uh, it's so beautiful. It's so exciting. It's, it's excellent. So uh, I'm really happy with the good people I've been able to bring together to form this team. So Carlos Beccaria um, and World Design, Jeff Spokes, Ebony Wellington, um, they're all doing excellent work. And I'm just, it's a pleasure and I'm happy to be uh, working with them on this. It's funny, I, you know, without putting the card before the horse, I have to say that it, it felt very cinematic. Like it feels like it would very much well lend itself to, I don't know, either a, you know, a Netflix series or a movie or something like that. So is that something you consciously think about when you're working on a project or are you more into just telling your comic book story? Um, my focus is the comic book story itself. But it's great to hear um, your feedback because you're one of the few people who, who've seen uh, the preview. So um, it's exciting to hear uh, <laughs> your impressions and um, your, your, uh, your view of it. So, uh, but no, um, the focus was on telling the comic book story uh, at the same time. Yes, there's definitely, like, just to go back to your point, yeah, there's definitely the possibility of, of more, though the focus is on telling, like, the best possible story in the comic book medium. So uh, where, where are you now? Like, uh, uh, is the first issue is completely done um, and you're starting work on the second one or you're still trying to finish up uh, the little... Because I know it's, you know... Uh, it's it's funny because you know one comic book seems like is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, we're currently on page fifteen, and yeah, page fifteen of the first issue. So we're still chugging away. Okay, so um, uh, so why should like in your words, you know, this is your baby, this is your creation. Um, why should people pick this up? Why should people want to read this? Why will people be as excited about it as I am? The art, characters, and ideas will entertain you and stimulate your imagination. The comic book is dynamic, lively, um, vibrant, and there's a theme of selflessness. So uh, in short, I would say that I invite 
everyone to visit a new universe of adventure on June 13th. And if you like science fiction, if you like mythology, if you like uh, superhero teams, uh, this book is right up your alley. Um, it's funny because uh, one of the things I noticed in the in reading the preview was the underlying um, feeling of positivity. Like I felt like um, there was a good message. You know what I mean? I felt like it was a, a good story, like without beating you over the head with it or like being like, uh, you know, like preaching. I just felt like I knew that there was going to be a good message here and that there was a positive thing behind it do you know if does that make sense i mean obviously it would to you because you wrote it but <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad um you're giving me wonderful feedback michael and yeah so that was my intention to have that um that subtle or um underlying idea of courage and heroism and selflessness so I'm glad it came through because I did try to convey that in a subtle way. So um, with you telling me that, uh, it reveals to me that I did, uh, I did convey that. So yes, you're, you're definitely right. Thank you. I'm sort of getting a sense of like, uh, they, you know, their powers really are a gift in a lot of ways. So there's a lot to sort of honoring that, right? Yes. Like, and, and doing good with it and making sure you, you properly respect your gift, you know, like, I guess, you know, we could go far back because with great power comes great responsibility. And, um, you know, um, I, I love to see, uh, such a, such a, a gorgeous book that has like such modern forward thinking ideas with such an underlying, um, tradition of you know just superhero goodness at the heart of it so i just i think that's the reason why people should read this book. <laughs> oh, thank you michael thank you and uh and uh yeah i i really uh hope to impart that feeling and that um message of heroism and selflessness so um as one of the few people who've seen the preview pages like uh it feels great to hear what you're saying so Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. We are, you're quite welcome. I'm so happy to be a part of uh, helping promote this. Um, I really would love to get the word out and have people know how good this is. And they will see that in the, the preview. And uh, they will be able to, if they can't see the enthusiasm for the project in, in your words and your face, uh, then they will definitely see it in the preview pages because uh, it is a great book. I think people definitely need to get behind this. I think uh, based on the art alone, I think it could be a huge success, but the concept is solid and the story is forward yet timeless and just like a welcome addition to the world of comic books. It's called The Assemblage. The uh, logo is great. It really stands out. It's just a fun concept, beautiful art. Uh, just a, a comic book that I think that everyone should definitely get behind and support. The Kickstarter, June 6th, you said? Uh, June 13th. June 13th, I'm so sorry, June 13th. So uh, the Kickstarter will be live. Everyone needs to support it. Come back to my channel for more updates because I will definitely be keeping an eye on this project. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you for telling us about this project and sharing it with us and letting us show the world like a glimpse of the greatness of the assemblage that is upon us. Chris McLeish, um, I look forward to everything you have to show us it's in your comic book. Um, it, it looks so good. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, thank you for your kindness, Michael. Thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about the project. Uh, I really appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Anytime you want to come back and talk about this, um, I am more than happy to help promote it because uh, uh, like I said, it is clear the love and blood, sweat, tears, effort, and passion that is going into this project from nuts to bolts, um, everyone involved. And it, it shows the importance of 
uh, having a good, solid creative team and the brilliant things you can do. And also, uh, you know, I used to be kind of on the fence about Kickstarter comics, but I think, uh, thank God for them in a way, because, you know, it's giving us beautiful, brilliant comic books that might have not otherwise seen the light of day. So um, it is definitely a good thing in, a, in an industry that, you know, is kind of a niche market that doesn't have a ton of outside support. So um, uh, I applaud you and commend you for even attempting this. And um, I extra applaud you for executing it so well. So congratulations. Uh, thank, you so uh, thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, all right. So I will put all the appropriate links in the description of this video so you can find Chris and the assemblage and this great kept Kickstarter project. And if you're a fan of my show, you know that I will not blow smoke and I do not, um, uh, you know, uh, mince words. And I 100% support this project. I think it is so good and people will really love it. Thank you again, Michael. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. So is there anything you want to tell uh, me or the viewers before we wrap this up? Um, my last message would be the team and I, we've put a lot of energy into creating the comic book and a lot of positive energy. And uh, we hope that you will check it out and enjoy the book. So um, our goal is just to deliver a book with uh, great art, great characters, great message. And uh, we hope that it's a good reading experience and that you get uh, something meaningful and positive and entertaining out of the book. So uh, yeah, we, we just look forward to your engagement and thank you for, for looking at the project. Well, all right. I think that is the perfect way to end this. So everybody go out and support Chris McLeish's assemblage, a comic book that is coming to Kickstarter. If not, by the time you see this video, and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button. I will bring you more soon, later, updates on the assemblage. Thanks so much for talking to me, Chris, today. I really appreciate it. <laughs>